Hey guys, my name is Tim. I'm the master mechanic at Zeit and BMW Mobile Services. And today we have a short DIY video on how to replace the air filters on 2014 Porsche Cayman S. So this applies for 981 generation with naturally aspirated engines. So 981 would be the base Cayman, the Cayman S. I'm not sure about the GTS, but hey, it's all pretty much the same. And the first thing is the location of the air filters. And in order to get to it, you have to take the parts of the interior apart. Let's get to the trunk. Mid-engine cars are all fun and games, especially the Porsche came in as Boxster, unless you have to do the service. So the location of the air filters in the trunk. And guess where? Right here behind this wall. Everything is on clips, so all this plastic components, everything, you just pop it out. And then in the end, we will need some tools, but that's pretty much it. This one is the first. There you go. And then on the other side, we have exactly the same one. There we go. This next one is right here. In order to remove that, we'll take this one out and let's see. There we go. So plastic out. Same thing goes right here. We just need to remove this panel. So we'll remove that. There we go. Now we do have access to this center piece. And guess what it does? It just pops off. So now we finally can take this carpet out. Out of the way. We do have the DME computer right here. Uh, we'll have to remove 10 millimeter nut, another one and two bolts. So it's four in total, 10 mils. And we have the one filter is visible from here. Well, not the filter, but the filter housing. So we have Torx. I do believe it's Torx 20 right here or 25. And we have those handles. We're going to pull on both of them and pull it out. So we do have this one Torx 20, as I said, right here. We do have a little two more bolts in there inside. There we go. Yep. Look how pretty it is. Oh my god. Uh, mind you, I did went off track. Here's the filter. I'm gonna be using the Phoebe Bilstein filter. Those are about thirty dollars. They're not. Uh, cleanable there is you can get the cleanable one KNN or something like that like I don't remember exactly the brand but I mean what's the point you have to remove it anyways it doesn't give you any performance at all and it just brings you more trouble just replace it be done with it do it every 10,000 miles you're good I never see any point in those performance air filters like they don't do anything trust me on that one any car that's just marketing so just a regular filter one time use of course um, don't clean it out i'll show you what's up with this one but here's the new one uh, look at that beauty there's a significant difference right here those are torx 25 i'm pretty sure yeah but torx 20 will do deep inside this housing so all right i believe there we go oof that's a nasty thing well, let's put the new one in you can't mess it up. The bottom goes into bottom, top at the top. Just pay attention to this just a little bit. 
and you will be just fine. So that's the filter that has, I'd say about 10,000 miles. And it has a few track days and one violent off track experience. So I went off track pretty bad, like dust everywhere. You'll see it later on the channel. But that's why it's dirty like that. New filter comes, of course, without the threads. So you have to assume that. And uh, we're kind of making our own thread right now. There you go. Clean filter. Let's put it on. Now this thing goes back where it belongs. What do we have? We do have wiring harness on the way, but I also need to rotate it a little bit. There you go. So all set till it clicks. Those things pop up. And we do have one bolt right here, which does have a thread. So it's pretty easy to... There we go. One down, one more to go right here. Just for you to understand how dirty it is, let's just do a simple test. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Just one hit. Good thing I'm changing it. Now, what we got is 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter. Another 10. And another 10. So we got everything out. Now we'll move this whole thing out. Insulation. And look, we do have the other filter, but there is a obstacle, which is this thing. Like, come on, who does that? So we'll have to remove that first. Let's, uh, to fill up the oil. I should say there's a standard German push and pull connector. And it's exactly the same. This side is even worse and no surprise I went off track going to the dust this side passenger side collecting everything and put it back in Putting it back, that looks like correct way. And let's do this one. All right, bolts first, nuts later. This is done. Now we're putting the carpet back in. That's the first. Just make sure it sits properly. Everything's good. Important, don't lose any of those things right here. Those are anti-vibration things. So your plastic doesn't rattle. There's um, the same ones on the other panels and a little bit different ones I'll show you later. So we'll put that back in place. Now look guys, so here it is. You see those pieces right here? You can take them off. Those pieces are important. They are anti-rattle so your panels won't be rattling. 
other thing to pay attention to those guys right here they may stay in the body of the car so you'll have to remove them and don't forget about those little jackets those are rubber they are anti-vibration as well so keep an eye on those and those things can stay in the body of a car as well so just inspect that and uh, see what happens let's put it back on putting it back is pretty much the same but the only thing i would pay attention to is to align all the holes and then just push it then don't forget to put the rubber all over it there we go doing all that for the air filter replacement that is nuts but I don't blame the engineers. I guess that was the only way to go. They did their best. All right. The final pieces. So this is it guys, that's what it takes to replace the air filter on Cayman S 981. Unbelievable, but once again, I can't blame the engineers, like where else would we put them? So that's all the tools you need, basically Torx 25, a little extension and the 10 millimeter socket with the range. Thank you guys for watching. Please share, subscribe, comment. What do you want to see? The more you comment, the better. Comment if you like it, comment if you don't. So. Please share the video, subscribe to the channel. There's more interesting stuff coming up and see you in the next one. Don't break your cars.